Well, hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to welcome you guys back here today. So look at what we have for you guys today. Uh, we have the 2015 Nissan Altima. What we're going to do today is we're obviously going to start disassembling the front end here so this way we can get a better look as to what we're working with. Um, we're going to go ahead and get all this harness out of the way, get this wire loom and whatnot removed. So this way I can see what I'm working with right here. Once we get this all disassembled right here, then I can see exactly what I'm working with right here in this area. This is the area that I'm more concentrated on uh, because obviously this is the majority of where the damage is, okay? Uh, we do have everything else that we need to put this thing back together with. Um, not concerned about the engine. Obviously there's nothing damaged in the engine compartment other than you know this area right here um i had no clue what he obviously hit with this vehicle or whoever was driving the vehicle at the time um so let's go ahead and get this thing um disassembled here so this way we can start seeing what we're actually working with so don't mind me because i'm going to start walking from here back and forth to the toolbox so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the hood off the car. So the hood right here, those are, uh, are going to be 12 millimeters. Start getting, start removing the bolts here that we need to remove. Well, so maybe it is not. Maybe it's a 13. Because usually on all these on all these foreign products, they're always 12 millimeters. We'll go through. It's where you want to be careful because number one, uh, let's see what I'm doing here. Go ahead and let this hood release down. And we'll get this. This right here, this uh, line for the for the squirt is there. We just go ahead and remove it from its little holder there. So what we're going to do. So okay, so you want to be careful now removing this hood. Because now you can damage the freaking windshield, which has already got a crack. And of course, something is always holding the thing on there. Okay. Okay. So we get the hood out of the way, put it down on the ground. So obviously now and start looking at this stuff right here. Let's start saving these clips. Don't save these clips. These clips will cost you in the long run. And these are not cheap either. So I just use the cowl right there for my little, to hold all the bolts and stuff. So that way everything's there when I go to put this thing back together. So stuff like this, usually what I can do, usually what I'll do is I'll throw it in the back of the car. Just like that. Okay. So obviously now we want to get this air box out of here. Gonna, okay, so we got a 10 millimeter there holding that thing on there. Like I said, go ahead and throw the bolts down there. Now we can get this thing, get this piece out of there. And obviously, got some damage to it, so we'll probably have to replace it. You guys see the damage. 
damage right there. I could probably heat that up and repair that if I had to. Okay, so we got the radiator now. Another 10 millimeter. It's got this uh, support bracket for the upper part of the core support. Another two tens. So then right here, you want to make a note of how this wiring loom goes, okay? So then on this right here, got this little tab right here. Let's squeeze the back side of this and work it out. It's like that. Now obviously right here, you want to make note of that. That right there is a crash sensor. Pop that clip out of there like that. And the thing here is with this hood release cable, we're probably going to end up having to replace it. So when I get those bolts out, it's got three bolts holding that thing in there. Those are probably going to be a 12 or a 13. So I just throw the bolts up there in the cowl. Freaking weak sauce, you know. Let's get the let's get the big boy out here. what we want to do. Oh, we can use bo both impacts for all I care. We'll set save your bolts. That's got a new bracket right there. You can see it on that core support. It's got a new bracket right here, so we don't need to save that in the garbage that thing goes. So now, we can get access to the latch. Go ahead and work that out like this. Let's work that latch. So then obviously this latch obviously it looks okay. And you can see the safety works fine. Uh, we got another hood latch there, so we'll throw that shit over there. This obviously right here is garbage. Throw that right there. Okay, so now for the bumper. Looks like somebody tied a dog leash around it. I don't really know what to say about that, you know? Okay, so we got this off. Key thing right here is number one. You got your turn signals down here, so all this is saveable. You want to make sure you save all this. Same thing with that side right there. Nothing wrong with these. So we want to get in there and unhook those. So 
So that's where our little tool comes in to play. Just pull up on this. Slide that tool under it like that. Pop these babies out. A lot of uh, carnage up in there. So what we're gonna do? Bumper cover it was. All the bolts are the same size. Those 10 millimeter bolts are all the same size. Now, bumper cover comes off. You want to save this right here. For the washer reservoir. Let's throw this over here. That way the parts that we do need to save are over there. Now, get this off. That was some. Just gotta work the tool up underneath this clip here. Just kind of give it the beans. There you go. So now this bumper cover. It's got a, uh, let's see what size these things are. It's gonna be regular Phillips head screws. Let's get our uh, small uh, Phillips screwdriver out. These are no different than the previous generation Altima, the way they Nissan puts these together. So that one popped out. So now we're free. See your screws. Now this bumper cover can come off. Got one more on the other side. Throw that shit in the garbage. And obviously, like I said, I want to want to see these bump. See the bumper cover here. I really don't give a shit about the bumper cover. It's these uh, turn signals that you want to save. Okay, and now the bumper cover is free. So throw it over there. The rest of the shit. And, uh, we'll get what we need off of it, and that'll be it. And obviously, like for the new grill here too, you want to make sure that you save all those little screws there, because those are those are the same screws that'll fit this new grill. We'll so make sure too you save this little rubber deflector right here, little insulator piece. Save all these too. So now we got a pile of bolts starting. So when I get up in here, so we got another, another. Good thing we got another piece like this, like shit. Good thing we got this top top section here, right there. Tell you these little pieces guys add up very quickly. Yeah, you can see the condenser obviously is no good. Punctured right there. But our lines should be fine, so yeah, our lines will be just fine. Headlight got broke right here. Tabs broke right there, so we'll have to save that tab. plastic weld that. If that's the only tab that's broken on, then I'm okay with that. So the next thing we want to do
That would be nice if that wasn't busted. That way we can actually work with what we got. Not have to go out of our budget because right now I've got probably like 600, 650 in this car for parts, which is really good. Some of these clips can be a pain in the ass to get out. But you know how Nissans are. Okay. What I'm going to do next is get a fill up the flathead screwdriver. this uh, air cleaner box off of here. Well, you can see right here, it's cracked. It's broken. And make sure that you save that mass airflow sensor. Not as bad as the Honda Civic was. Get this battery out of here. To be careful with battery because nothing but acid. We got a 10 millimeter. Probably use this for a core. Oh, they want the battery. Bring it up there as a core then. careful because there can still be acid in the thing. Pick it up from the top, but most likely there isn't any acid in it. It'll smell that fucker. This is garbage. Save this garment here for the hood. Whatever else is broken is broken. I mean, nothing we can do about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this, uh, this bumper here. We're actually going to remove the rebar. Whatever you guys want to refer to it as. Should be a 13, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay. Maybe they're not. That's where they were. Gotta be. That was a 13, that's for sure. There's one on the bottom here. What we'll do is we'll straighten all that out. On the bottom of this, most of these cars here, see right here, it's got the ambient temperature sensor right there.
You're always gonna have these clips. It's gonna be a pain in the you know what. This is a this is the struggle that you always go through with one of these damn cars. So let's just go ahead and remove that. There should be enough wire. Get this thing removed. It's freaking hot out here. I mean, it's only 7 o'clock in the morning, too. Ready for this heat to be gone. So probably on this one. It's always got to be something else holding it in, you know? thing you gotta be careful of Got this harness right here you know fucking need some man I tell ya look at that thing Jesus Christ yeah, because the damn thing has never come off I don't think rebuilding a car is easy, because it's not. Okay, so that's fine. That can stay there. So this thing's garbage. This will just throw it on the side, because that'll go on the back of the truck. Well, let's get everything picked up here. So I have a clue what this guy hit with this thing. So this is the reality of things, guys. You know? Guys wanted a, a real video. So here it is. Giving you guys this live and raw. So this is uh, a upper, upper radiator hose. Little figure, right? So we got that off. So it's cool when we get on the ground here. So the radiator hose is fine. Start taking this off. Get, the, get this condenser out of here. Remove that.
with these right here. Go ahead and pry them out like that. Obviously now, got a little clip that holds it in there. So now the stuff can come out. Throw that all right to the side for now. All we're doing is disassembling anything back together right now. You always got problems with certain things. So all that is like a pass through there. So that allows it to pass through the thing. I'll be careful of these. I'll note any broken wires too. Let's go down to the temperature sensor there. The harness looks okay though. I mean, the main harness looks okay. Other than that, I think we'll be okay with this car. We just let the harness rust right here. Okay, so moving on to this core support here. Oh, got some tranny lines right here we have to remove. I'll make a little bit of a mess, but shouldn't be all that bad. Got training lines. So, got the two training lines and the lower radiator hose that we need to remove. Okay, so I'm going, I'm removing the lower radiator hose. It's still cooling this thing, so. So, I probably want to go ahead and tuck these transmission lines somewhere back here. And you can see the, this cooler right here, obviously, is bound up. these things out of the way. See if we can straighten that thing out. No, it's okay. Let's bend this back. It should be okay. As long as it doesn't leak clear, that's all that matters. I still got radiator fly. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and throw this right here in the back of the truck. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove this. Throw it back here. With all the rest of our shit. So now we can get a better look at what's going on in the corner here. So this is going to need to be straightened out right there, that uh, front section there. Need to come up. It's probably what we could do is probably gonna 
probably gonna come along on this and pull it pull it straight. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to take a look at the I'll look at what's going on with this uh, this section here. that off there. Well at least we can get this harness out of here. Let's see cut up. Gotta make note of this right here. Got four wires there that are cut. Not terribly bad I mean. So this is probably part of the headlight here. Nope. Get all those broken plastic pieces, but you know what? The next thing we want to do is we want to get in here and repair this. Want to get in here? I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut that. That way, uh, this is out of the way. That way, I can straighten this back up straight. Okay, so we're going to straighten this piece out right here. So, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Looks okay. Main thing is, we're able to get this out of the way, okay? Come in here, we'll heat this, I'll heat this section up right here. We'll straighten that out a little bit better. Okay, so we're just in the middle of straightening this out. Um, it looks like it's coming out fairly decently. Um, I had to heat this up a little bit. We straightened that out. The reason why it's always good when you go to the junkyard, you get the bolts that you need which I did not do, but I'll have to reuse what we have. Just have to make do with what we have on this. What we'll do is we'll get something in there. We'll get these bolts put up here. I always see these little little clips too. So let's see what we have. Let's get something in here. That's fine. Okay, so that's fine. Perfectly fine. What we did right there, because so we'll go ahead and take that new piece and we'll weld it in right there. So it looks pretty good. See this has got a little low spot in it. pretty straight if you ask me. That looks pretty good. Pretty good.
A lot better than what it was, that's for sure. Oh, throw it on the ground there. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so since we pretty much got everything out of this area, obviously we can see what we're dealing with now, okay? So, like I figured, this whole pocket area, this whole area is going to have to be replaced. So we're going to go ahead and cut it right here. So we'll just draw out all these spot welds. Drill these out, clean this, get in here with a wire wheel, get all that seam sealer out of there. Then uh, we can start getting in here and we can start uh, getting this pot, getting all these spot wells drilled out. Same thing for down here too. We'll just go ahead and replace this whole, this whole support section right here. And once we get this taken care of, then obviously, you know, we can get in here and get everything else put back together. As you guys can see here, obviously there's no damage on this side right here. This headlight's got a busted tab on it right there as you can see. It's not that bad. Just kind of looking in there. It's a little loose, but the bottom tab is good. This tab over here is good. And obviously, this tab right here is broken, which is the one that I showed you guys earlier. So, like we've got some more wires here. Don't know where those things go. We'll, uh, we'll get these on. We'll get these done. Too sure where these go but we'll figure that out there we go so obviously we've got broken set of wires here okay that goes to that uh that goes to that ambient temperature sensor most likely this is for the um this is for the ac compressor switch the pressure switch not too sure what that is for, um, but we'll look on that, whatever. We should have what we need on that. So, um, yeah, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put that uh, new rebar on here just to see, make sure everything fits up uh, with this, and we should be good to go on that. Okay, so we've got it over just, so it's just off, just probably by an eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to go ahead and drill it out and uh, that's going to be it. All the rest of the bolts line up fine. Obviously you can see this is the reason why it, uh, it doesn't line up because obviously it's probably tweaked back a little bit. So um, what I could probably do is I could probably get the come along on it and pull it a little bit this way. Um, really looking at this, there's really no way that I can push it with the porter power. There's nothing to push against. You know, and obviously this right here, I'm just I'm going to come in. I'm just going to lay a um, a bead of. We're just going to go ahead and weld that up. But I do got to get that. Uh, I got to do. I got to work on that a little bit right here. So, but yeah, slowly coming along. Okay, as you guys can see now, everything lines up perfectly. So with a little tweaking on the front end, see all these bolt holes line up pretty nicely. Same thing with the, this right here. So yeah, so with a little tweaking on this right here, and what I did is I actually took the come along and pulled a little bit here and a little bit on this and brought this in so now as you guys can see we have no problems with all the bolt holes lining up on this so yeah but yeah that's where I'm gonna leave this one here guys I think you guys are gonna get a pretty decent video today um, obviously you guys can see here on the ECM you know the wires are just kind of foobard see right there that plug is all screwed up same thing with this middle plug here. The bottom plug and this plug are fine, no problems there. We're gonna have to replace the whole engine harness. I do have another engine harness. Hopefully this is the correct harness for this. 
and hopefully everything works and but that's where we're going to leave it guys i really appreciate you guys joining me here today please stay tuned for the next episode on this rebuild series where we start uh getting into the wiring harness and after that we'll get into that frame section there this uh this section right here so i really appreciate you guys joining me here today please like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one see ya thank you